Hello, people. How y'all doing at this moment in time? Just want to come on at this moment in time, talk to y'all about some things. Uh, but uh, let's get into some. Uh, let's get into a prayer. Thank you, Father God, for waking us up this morning and blessing us to see a new day. Watch over us and guide us and guard us and protect us throughout this day. Lead us throughout this day. And, and pray for us throughout this day, Father God. And I pray that you come through me, Father God, this moment in time in order to get the people absolute truth. And I pray, Father God, that you let the Holy Spirit come to me at this moment in time in order to give the people absolute truth. <clears throat> and I pray, Father God, that you, uh, <clears throat> and I thank you for listening to this message, Father God. Amen. They mess with a little bit, guy, but yeah. Uh, this is the second part. But yeah, um, these things, people have to come to the um, higher vibrations. And when they come to higher vibrations, you're going to see it. You're going to see it in um, forms where right now a lot of people are doing some purging and cleansing and things like this. And everybody that's doing purging and cleansing. Um, I pray and I prophesy, I declare and I decree that your faith wax even stronger in the Lord. And I pray and I prophesy, Father God, that everybody on this planet, Father God, that's not a wickedness, I pray and I prophesy, Father God, that everybody faith wax even stronger in you, Father God. I pray and I prophesy, I declare and I decree and on the sign of my voice I command it. And I pray and I prophesy, Father God, that billions will come to you at this moment in time. I pray and I prophesy, Father God, that billions of people will come to you and give over their lives to you at this moment in time, Father God, in order to um, <clears throat> come into who they are and to know you, Father God, and to um, uh, uh, um, know about the, the, the spiritual realm and the heavens above, Father God. I pray and I prophesy, I declare and I decree, Father God, that they give over their lives to you, Father God, at this moment in time and ask for forgiveness of their sins and come back to you, Father. I pray and I prophesy, I declare and I decree, and I'm signing my voice, I command it in this realm and in the spiritual realm. Um, in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, like I was speaking, the, the higher rams. We in the ethers now. <laughs> we are in the ethers now. And I don't care how much y'all see them do their thing and do what they are doing. The reason why they're doing what they're doing is because they finna leave. Don't worry about it. Understand me? Don't worry about it. It's going to be all right. You just keep doing the things of God and you keep doing your purpose. You keep doing your will. You keep doing the things that you need to do. You understand? Because I was thinking about it today, this morning, and I was thinking about how they trying to, they've been trying to uh, stop people from doing their talents and gifts and Will, I mean, in their purposes and things like that, and it's just very like it's agonizing, you know. It's and I rebuke and I bind it up and I cast it down. Everything that they doing, that it shall fail, fall to the dirt, it shall not form, it shall not prosper, and that everything they trying to do, it shall backfire on them and be sent back to them a million fold. And they mad about these things because um, they don't, they don't do nothing but just. Why can't you just leave people alone? Just go by your business and leave people alone. Why can't you? Now, they, they, they so, their minds are so wrapped up and messed up to the point where it's just not even thinking about what they need to do. It's always about what, what they need to do towards you. And I rebuke that. And I bind that up and I cast it down. Just all just all nonsense. And it's messed up. But I, I was just giving y'all that thought, you know, that how just like I tell you, like, man, this um matter of fact, just cut it. <laughs> cut that. <laughs> Forget that. <laughs> um But that's why they can't stay. Because people have the Lord is coming for people to get into their purposes. 
and for them to do the will of God. You know, even if people are not even just doing the will of God, but to get into your purpose. But still, this is the thing. The will, for you to do your purpose, it is the will of God. It's to do what you came here to do. What your soul and your spirit has came here to do. And I pray and I promise our Father God to declare and I decree that everybody on here and everybody in this, this uh, planet shall be able to go into their purposes and into the, to the will of God. And to fulfill what they need to fulfill on this planet. I pray and I promise I declare and I decree and on the sign of my voice I command it. In the name of Jesus Christ. And that if anything that tries to stop them, it shall, be, it shall fail, fall to the dirt, it shall not form. It shall not prosper. And everything they try and do, it shall backfire on them and be sent back to them a million fold in this realm and in the spiritual realm. Uh, I'll be going to bother you about buying a power of your contract. Go and read the book of blocks with the altar. And then you just going to eat out of All right. Excuse me. But I have to do this. Um. It's just, it's, it's, it's just, you got to think about these things. But one thing I do know, you have to keep going. I don't care what goes on, no matter, keep going. You understand? And I prophesy, declare, and I decree, and on the sound of my voice, I command everyone in the planet to keep going and keep pushing up against this thing. Keep pushing up against this thing, cause these thing, this thing has to leave here. It can't stay. It cannot stay. Nobody wants this here. This is some nasty. Excuse me, but this is some yucky stuff. Don't nobody want that here. Can't nobody handle that. That's too much. Every time you look around. You trying to do something, and it's someone just in the way for no reason at all. <laughs> just no reason at all. Don't even know you. You don't know them. Just in the way. And I rebuke them, and I bind them up, and I cast them down. But you see what I'm saying? No, you don't even know them. But I'm just telling you. The people will be free. Even though you don't know. I prophesy, declare, and I decree, Father God, on the sound of my voice, I command it. Everybody in this realm, that these wicked ones trying to come up against and things like this here, I pray and I prophesy, declare, and I decree, all the people in this realm, all the people over this planet shall be free from slavery and from bondage. In the name of Jesus Christ. And you shall be free. They... The Lord has been told them to tell them, told them to let the people go um, 30 years ago, you know, and, and, and this this 400 mark been up, you know, and they have been trying to hold the people and things like this, in, but this stuff has got to go through. The reason why this stuff has got to go through is spoken. Not only has the promise been given to, to God, but it's, I mean, the promise has been given to Abraham, but it is in the word. With God and with God and Abraham is in the word. So anything that's in that word is going to come to pass. You understand me? I don't care what nobody say, how they say it, who cares? What you say going to fail. That word going to come to pass. I don't care. And the people shall be free from slavery and bondage. And I pray and I prophesy and I declare and I decree and on the sound of my voice I command it in the name of Jesus Christ. They're going to be free from bondage. Mark my words now. They're going to be free from bondage. No matter what, like I said, it's going to be free from bondage. Because the Lord has spoken it. And he said, let my people go. Pharaoh and Solomon and Gomorrah. Letting my people go. And the people shall be let go. And shall be set free. 
And I prophesy, declare, and decree, and on the sign of my voice, I command it. In the name of Jesus Christ. In this realm and in the spiritual realm. You understand? This is real. We've been fighting this long. We came to this point. We're going to keep on fighting. And keep pushing. Forward. Forward. And I pray and I prophesy, Father God, that you break all the comic cycles, contracts, covenants, agreements, bondage, blockers, spells, and altars that they trying to hold on the people. And I pray and I prophesy, Father God, that it catches a fire and that you destroy all those, send a sword through the land and destroy all those comic cycles, Father God, in this realm and in the spiritual realm. I pray and I prophesy, I declare and I decree and on the sign of my voice I command it. So, I pray that y'all take these messages to the Lord Jesus Christ at this moment in time. Get into some fast, some prayer, and read your word. Commune with the Lord. Uh, build a relationship with the Lord. And uh, this is God's good news for your day. Y'all be blessed. Amen.